Right, I thought I'd do a bit of a project update today. I'd like to show some of the things that I actually make out of scrap components that I come across at car boot sales, recycling centres or whatever. And some time ago now I did a um, video on this one here which is an oil lamp which I made up out of a doorknob. I made three of those in the end or four of them all different types and they turned out to be really good. I'm really pleased with them and I've been fortunate enough to actually come across an identical doorknob and I'm going to be making a, another one exactly the same so that I end up with a pair and you may have seen in that video that when I made this one I did have a ball top on this one I've since found this component amongst my um, equipment and put a 1 8 BSP thread up inside that one and I've got a couple of these so I'll be able to actually finish the other lamp off exactly the same and I um, think that looks pretty good being a sort of flame shape on the top there so I'm looking forward to actually finishing that project and any time I get really nice door handles um, these are a great thing to actually make up and this is why I say whenever you go around car boot sales or wherever look out for stuff like this and collect it all up put it to one side I never knew that I'd actually make um, lamps out of these doorknobs when I actually bought them I put them in my bins and just left them there and then came up with the idea at a certain point and yesterday I made this one up out of scrap components um, from my store this is a little steam powered device uh, they call them a steam ball I think and there's another name for them which I forget now um, very good little item to make and fairly easy well it was very easy to actually make it up because the stand was a candlestick base this was um, a fire poker um, this was off of um, some piece of furniture or whatever I had these brass angle pieces in my box and I sawed those and made those up to fit and soldered them on here and then this tubing was um, part of um, I think a curtain rail or some form of uh, furniture and this just made up out of four BA screws and a bit of uh, plumbing copper pipe and you may have seen others um, on YouTube it's the first time I've actually made one of these up my brother made one first and I got the idea from him and like I said it's an excellent little project because it's not too difficult to actually make up the um, stand here like I say was made from those scrap parts and all you have to do basically is get two um, struts out from the side to a certain distance so you can actually get a flame under the um, steam ball or um, engine there and two pins which are um, pointed up and these sit in the um, base here and the top part for it to run on and you don't really need any specialist equipment at all to actually make these up you do need to have a torch which will be able to silver solder I'll use the Bullfinch propane brazing torch and some silver solder which melts or has a melting point around 640 degrees and that one actually melts nicely with the uh, propane torch and with the stand I just soldered it together with ordinary lead solder so that one's dead easy like I say this one here you have to use the silver solder on this one if you used ordinary solder when the steam engine heats up it will actually melt that solder and it would fall apart so I used some tube from um, some furniture this is 33 millimeters diameter and then it's um, cut off and faced off to about 36 millimeter long and obviously the um, base was put on I silver soldered around the base and then I put the tube back up in the um, lathe and skimmed it down to suit the diameter there this one here was pushed in and that's about a hundred uh, thou thick 
and um, that one's pushed in very slight um, lip on the um, outside there or a bit of a turn on the um, front part so that when I put the silver solder in I could see a witness all the way round and this one's drilled and tapped for 1 8 BSP and then to save further messing about I got a 1 8 BSP blanking plug um, just for blanking off a 1 8 BSP hole and I skimmed that one down so it's thin and put a center drill um, in the end there and then I put a fiber washer on this end and I've faced the uh, thread off so uh, most of that's gone there's about four threads on that one you want to keep these as light as possible so that one actually screws in the top there and then becomes the bearing mount as well so to use it i fill it up with a syringe and put about two cc's of water in it screw the top back on and that one seals it up on the fibre washer and just give that a little nip up then it goes into the stand and I screw this one down very lightly into the um, centre drill hole on the top there so that it spins easy it must be um, a loose-ish fit there there's a bit of end float on that so it's not tight if there's any tightness at all it won't go and I forgot to say that when you're making these um, you put the copper tube in there this is about three or four millimeter in diameter is the um, plumbing type um, copper tubing and you can get that on eBay as well very low cost when you do the ends there you have to put a needle up inside the end and flatten the um, copper pipe around that one so it leaves a very small hole so the pressure builds up a bit inside the cylinder and then you can actually make a burner for these a lot of people do um, I haven't got round to that yet so I've just got a jar of methylated spirits with some cotton wool in it and light that one up You might want to come up a bit and earlier today I had this one so it was actually starting up on its own I don't know whether it'll do that now again but um, it's great when they do but it might just need a little bit of a nudge until it's running a bit steam's coming out there now so um, that's when it should start up itself and I think that's a great little project to actually make one of those up And if you look on YouTube, you'll see many different types of these ones, some lovely looking ball type ones. You can get really uh, nice large diameter ball ones. Um, like I said, a lovely little project to make up. Um, I found it very easy and quick to actually make this one up, but I did have to do some fine tuning. At first I had this a bit long, um, probably about another five or 10 millimeter on there. 
and I found it too weighty to actually um, get going so I had to actually face that off again and redo this end but um, like I say it's a nice little thing to um, do and then mess about with and see what you can do to actually get the best results so on that one the reason that actually went a little bit loose was this one unscrewed a bit so I've actually locked that one up now and readjusted this and now I'm just going to have another go just to see what it goes like again. Now I have found that um, two cc's of uh, water is about right. If you go much more than that then it increases the weight and has difficulty starting so you have to experiment a bit with uh, the actual engine when you make it. Seems to be having a bit of trouble going now. So you can see there the slightest um, tightness of that um, screw will actually stop the steam ball from starting up or whatever. When you get them absolutely really finely tuned and everything perfect they will start up on their own. And like I said earlier it did actually start itself um, perfectly um, earlier today and now it seems to have stopped doing that but I'm still pleased with the results and after a little bit of fine tuning like I say I reckon I'll get that going again perfectly. But I'm actually really pleased that you can actually make something like this up out of scrap that you find in car boot sales or whatever. And brass, you know I've seen it at um, recycling centres and that um, and they take it now and they put it um, all in the bin and it gets melted down uh, for other uses obviously but um, there's hundreds of parts out there if you actually collect them up you'll be actually really surprised at what you can actually make with them and because the brass is being recycled obviously it's getting rarer and rarer to find I just buy any uh, brass uh, part um, as long as it's um, reasonably thick and um, not modern looking you know it's got a nice yellow um, tone to it or whatever not the modern stuff where it's um, all uh, a whiter colour um, I collect up any uh, parts and even if I don't know what I'm going to use them for I put them in bins and keep them 
and like this one here this has probably been in those bins for um, maybe a couple of years or more but now it's a little engine